got to deal with tenants. What do I do? In this video, I'm going to share with you our four step process on how you sell your wholesale properties when they have tenants. You got to get buyers in there. It can get real messy. My name is Raul Balufe and I help investors and entrepreneurs start and scale their real estate investing business to six figures plus all virtually in the comfort of your own home, traveling, whatever you want to do. Now, the problem at hand today that we're going to be talking about is you got a property under contract, it has tenants, you need to sell it, you want to wholesale it. How do you get your buyers in there? What do you tell the seller? What do you tell the tenants? Like, what the, like, you got to juggle like a million things, right? This seems impossible, but it's not. And there is actually a smart way to do it and there's a dumb way to do it. And it can get really frustrating when you don't know how to do it because you can probably even lose deals from it. I, I've talked to an investor in my meetup once and he said, hey, I had this deal that I could have got, but it had tenants, I didn't know what to do, so I didn't get it. I'm like, what? Man, this, it's not that hard. I understand it's complicated, but it's not hard. So it can get a little frustrating if you don't know how to do it. Before I go into our four step process, let me share with you what not to do, okay? If you do, because ask me how I know, how we've been through, burn through money of doing things wrong, okay? That is how we make mistakes. So here's what not to do. Do not just show up there with your buyers, knock on the door and just say, hey, I'm a wholesaler and I'm here to buy this property or I'm an investor and I'm here to buy this property. I already have it under contract, you have to let me in. No, no, no. Do not just text your buyers or call them and say, hey, just swing by and just knock on the door and say that I sent you. No, no, no. So, let me share with you our four step process. Step one, set the stage with the seller. Just like in our sales process, we do what's called setting the stage. This is basically just setting expectations with the seller that, hey, I'm gonna go in there with some money partners, some business partners, uh, contractors, handymen, people who buy houses with me or people who um, I trust that see houses with me to make sure I'm making the right decision. They're gonna go with me. I'm gonna only have two to three people max, and it's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I'm not gonna mention anything bad to the tenants or anything. I won't even talk to tenants if you don't want me to. We're just gonna walk in and out and um, check out the place and we'll be done. Set the stage. Something that's really important when you're talking to the seller, when you're in the setting the stage phase with the seller, find out, um, hey, Mr. Seller, do the tenants know that you're selling the property? It's okay if they don't. I just, I'll mention I'm an insurance agent or something, but I just want to know, so I don't, I don't want to mess things up for you. Okay, cool. And if they say, no, they don't know they're selling, I don't want them to know, just say, that's fine. Just say that I'm an inspector, I'm just looking at the place, and whenever you want to break the news to them, it's fine. I won't say that I'm an investor. So that's setting the stage, just step one. Step two, set the stage with your buyer. Now, remember, your buyer's a person too. He's going in there, he wants to buy his house, he wants to find out all the information he can. He's gonna invest his hard-earned money into this property. So it's unfair for him to not know what's going on, him or her. So what you tell the buyer and set the stage is, hey, Mr. Buyer, I have this property under contract. There's tenants in there. They know or they don't know that there's something in the property. So we're just gonna walk in there, it's gonna be 15, 20 minutes. Please do not talk to the tenants. I'll be there with you or someone on our team will be there with you. Do not talk to the tenants because we don't want to spook them. Just check out anything you need and any questions, just call me or message me or tell me right then and there. And um, if I don't have the answer, I'll get the answer from the seller directly. Is that cool? Man, that easy. Set the stage. Set the stage. And actually, stick with me to the end and I'll give you a quick little bonus on how we do virtual showings um, all over the, the state of Florida and now in uh, we're in a couple different states. I live in Miami, I never go to a single house, and I'll share with you how we do it for 40 bucks or less. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. So step three, get someone on your side there. If it's in your backyard and you can drive to it, I would suggest go, get in the car, meet your buyer, talk, you know, make sure things go smoothly. You already set the stage with the seller, you set the stage with the buyer, and then just show up and make sure things are nice and smooth. You don't, you don't wanna take the risk because you don't wanna drive 20 minutes, okay? But now if we're doing this virtual wholesale stuff, that I live in Miami and we're doing deals in Pensacola, Lakeland, Tampa, Orlando, um, Georgia, South Carolina. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I'm not gonna drive there unless, you know, maybe in a couple years when I can have a little helicopter, someone could just fly me there or something. But other than that, I'm not really gonna get in my car and drive. 
or get in a little chopper or a little plane and, and take off and land. I don't know why I made that crashing noise. No one's crashing here. No one's crashing. Here. So what you can do is, is get someone on your, on your side there. If you have a team member that lives where you're buying houses, maybe an acquisitions person, uh, an assistant or someone, get them there, get someone on your side. And in the bonus tip, I'm going to share with you, if you don't have that person, how you can find them at 40 bucks or less. Step four, limit the communication. We already set the stage with both people, with the seller and the buyer. Make sure that it's limited. Either if you're there or if that person on your team, tell that person on your team, hey, please limit the communication with the tenant and the buyer. No matter how good the situation is, I've never seen it be a good thing that the tenant and the buyer talk too much in the beginning of the transaction. Now, I'm not saying I don't want them to talk ever. I'm just saying in the first interaction, just limit it. Hey, buyer, you're here to inspect the property. You don't even know if you're going to buy it yet. When you know you're going to buy it, you can have full communication with the tenant. But right now, since you're not sure if you're going to buy it, you're just inspecting the place. I'm not sure I'm going to sell it to you. Um, let's just limit it, right? Just check out the house, do what you need to do. So those are the four steps. We're going to set the stage with the seller, set the stage with the buyer, get someone on your team there, limit the communication. So now for the bonus tip. Raul, that's fine, but I live in LA, I live in New York, I live in, uh, you know, San Fran, I live in Miami. There's too, it's too much competition. I don't want to do deals here. I'd rather do deals in smaller markets and they're far from me. Well, the way that we do these showings when there's tenants in a property is we hire a runner, what we call a runner, or we hire, we hire someone to go and take pictures and kind of mediate the situation. The way we hire them is uh, we go on Craigslist, craigslist.org. We go in the county that wherever our property is. So if our property is in Lee County, we'll go to Lee County Craigslist. We'll post a gig offered ad. And on the gig offered ad, it'll say needed person to take pictures for real estate property. And 40 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever you want to pay. We pay an average of $40 because we see that's kind of the magic number. You post that gig offered ad, post your phone number, your email, whatever, and you're gonna get so many people hitting you up. And my advice to you would be get three people, three different people, write down their names, then stop the ad. And whenever you get a property there, text all three of them at once, and whichever one says, I'm ready, go with them. It's always good to have backups. But there you go, for 40 bucks, you get someone to go to the house. Remember, you set the stage with the buyer, you set the stage with the seller, and if you're not going yourself, set the stage with, your runner or your employee or your helper and have them limit the communication like that everything can go as smoothly as possible and you never have to miss out on a deal again you can get i i suggest no more than three buyers at a time get two to three buyers hot buyers in there and have them compete over your deal make the max offer you don't have to now limit it to sight unseen deals or one offer get that price okay and Something where people really mess up, this last thing, is they don't hit that like button and they don't hit that subscribe button so you can get more of these videos, tips and tricks, so you can be the number one wholesaler in your area. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. Follow me on robeloofer.com if you got value to this or on this channel. Um, I appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.